So you think you're a 2010s fan? You remember Carlos Matos before he was our president? It's I love the 2010s, and this is 2018. I love the 2010s. So back in 2017, there was this thing called Bitcoin. It was this big Ponzi scheme and everyone was at the moment where they were putting in so much money into it and it actually shot up to like $20,000 at the time and then it was almost like overnight. Like it just went poof and we lost it forever. Ah, oh, Bitcoin. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a long time. Yeah, so Bitcoin was this way that people were supposed to be able to, like, pay other people online. I think they were, like, buying drugs with it. I can't even really remember now. But uh, 2018 came around, and Bitcoin totally disappeared. They were worth, like, $20,000 at one point. And then all of a sudden, it was so weird. I, I, don't, I don't even know. Whatever did happen to Bitcoin? The crazy thing to think about now is how we use Dogcoin. When back in 2017, everybody thought Bitcoin was going to be the coin. We even used to call Dogcoin Dogecoin. <laughs> that sounds horrible. What a bunch of noobs. But now we all know for sure Dogcoin has taken over. Nobody wants to say Doge anymore. Dogecoins. Yeah, I do. That's where Dogcoin got its start. Everybody, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Dogecoin started as, I think it was a meme. It was like a dog from a meme or something. And they, you know, they made, we're making fun of this thing that we were talking about called Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, it actually turned out to be a, a pretty successful coin. Uh, it passed Bitcoin sometime in 2018, and then before you knew it, nobody was talking about Bitcoin. Everybody was talking about Dogecoin. And um, you know, thanks to thanks to President Matos, now you know Dog Dogecoin is what we use. Of course, we changed the name Dogecoin. It sounds completely stupid. Hello, ma'am. I would like to withdraw some Dogecoins. It's Dogcoins. Say Dogcoins. People back then, they were so dumb. Dogecoin, I barely even knew her. We do, however, need to make sure we put out a huge thank you to our President Matos and for taking what was called Dogecoin and now we call it Dogcoin. Who would have ever thought the guy that started off with his campaign saying, hey, 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 America is now in the White House. So back in 2018, before we know President Matos as the president, he was involved in some kind of Ponzi scheme. It's this thing called BitConnect, and uh, that's actually where people started noticing him. And, uh, you know, who would have thought that he would now be our president all these years later? It's really crazy, but, uh, you know, I'm even embarrassed. Even I did some crazy stuff with Bitcoin back in the day. I had a YouTube channel, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was really lame. President Matos. Tron. The movie? You're talking about the movie? The one in the 80s or the one in the, the 2000s? The early 2000s? That's, that's all I know about Tron. It, it may be a pinball machine. It. Tron was a cryptocurrency? Oh, I, I had no idea. I had no idea. Tron. A crappy movie and an even crappier coin. You know what happiness is. I love the 2010s.